Scalene Muscle Group Scalene muscle group is found on the side of the neck lying deep to the sternocleidomastoid muscle. It has three divisions or branches. The anterior, the middle, and the posterior. This muscle group functions to flex the neck to either side and also to raise the rib cage during inhalation. A neurovascular bundle exits the cervical spine between the anterior and middle branches of the scalene. Here are the landmarks for the anterior scalene. First we have the cervical vertebrae at C2 and the first and second ribs. Here's the origin of the anterior scalene on the transverse processes of C3 through C6 and the insertion of the anterior scalene on the first rib. And here we take a look at the landmarks for the middle scalene. Again, we have the cervical vertebrae and the first and second ribs. The middle scalene originates on the transverse processes of C2 through C6 and inserts just behind the anterior scalene on the first rib. And now we have the posterior scalene landmarks. Again, the cervical vertebrae at C2 and the first and second ribs. The posterior scalene originates on the transverse processes of C4 through C6 and inserts here on the second rib. Here's the muscle and you'll notice the neurovascular bundle exiting between the anterior and middle branches of the scalene. Contraction of the scalene group produces lateral flexion of the neck when the rib is stabilized and also inhalation by raising the first and second ribs. The ipsilateral upper trapezius assists the scalene group during lateral flexion and the sternocleidomastoid pectoralis major and minor assist the scalenes during inhalation. The contralateral scalene and upper trapezius oppose the scalene during lateral flexion and the intercostal muscles oppose the scalenes during inhalation. Symptoms associated with trigger points in the scalene muscles include persistent aching chest pain in a two-finger-like pattern, pain between the shoulder blades that concentrates in the area just medial to the superior angle of the scapula, superficial anterior shoulder pain, pain on the anterior and posterior part of the upper arm that often disturbs their sleep, Pain on the radial side of the forearm that skips the elbow and travels down the thumb into the index finger. Numbness and tingling in the arm, hand, and the thumb. Edema or puffiness in the hand, especially in the morning. Clients with active trigger points in the scalenes typically do not have restriction in the neck motion, as they would with active trigger points in the levator scapula muscle. Some factors that may activate or perpetuate trigger points in the scalene muscles include automobile accidents, strong pulling movements such as playing tug of war, swimming, carrying heavy objects, coughing, scoliosis or lower limb length inequality, and limping because it causes a distortion in the client's posture. Trigger points in the sternocleidomastoid, levator scapula, and upper trapezius muscles are all associated with trigger points in the scalene muscles. Some common misdiagnoses for active trigger points in the scalene muscles include carpal tunnel syndrome, C5-C6 radiculopathy, and thoracic outlet syndrome.